Hello everyone and welcome back to Zaklit Educational Channel. So this is about the GATE Environmental Science and Engineering paper Mark Booster series in which we are going to discuss chocolate numericals. Yes, chocolate numerical means just you have to know the formula, very simple formula and we will be able to solve the questions very very easily. So this is the part 16 in this video series. You can watch the previous link provided in the i button as well as in the description below to strengthen your preparation for the GATE environmental science and engineering paper. So without much delay, let's get started. So guys before starting I would like to request you to get ready with your notes and pen. So you have to write all these things, it is not that we will be discussing, yes we will be discussing but you have to note down the formula, you have to calculate then only it will be beneficial in the examination. So let's read the question first. So questions will be lengthy, you will be feeling it very boring but answers will be very very easy if you know the formula. So let's read the question patiently. The question asks here a water jet discharging from a 4 cm diameter orifice has a diameter of 3.5 cm at its vena contracta. So if we don't know what is vena contracta orifice then also no problem you just have to know the formula implement that in the examination and get the full marks. So here it is telling that two different diameter. One is the water jet discharging diameter and another is the diameter of vena contracta. So no need to know all these things in deep, just know two different diameter. One is 4 cm, one is 3.5 cm. Then is the coefficient of velocity is defined as the ratio of the actual velocity of the jet at the vena contracta to the theoretical velocity of the jet. So you can also ignore this statement, no need to go deep. Now coming to the main point that is the final statement. If the coefficient of velocity is 0 0.98, then the coefficient of discharge for the orifice will be how much? This is you have to put the value, it is not given in the option. This will carry more marks, so it is very very important that you have to find what? You have to find the coefficient of discharge, whereas the coefficient of velocity is given as 0 0.98. So we'll write whatever is given in the question, CV, coefficient of velocity is given 0 0.98. We have to find out CD, that is coefficient of discharge. Formula, Brahmastra formula is CV, that is not curriculum vitae, CV, that is coefficient of velocity multiplied by CC, that is coefficient of contraction is equal to CD, that will give our coefficient of discharge. So this formula you should know where we have CV in our question, CD is asked and CC we don't know. But we can find out with the help of given data CC that is coefficient of contraction. Look into here, this box is also giving a Brahmastra formula. It is telling that CC that is coefficient of contraction is equal to area at vena contracta divided by area of orifice. So this thing you should know that and here area formula is what? Area of a circle is pi r square or pi d square by 4. We know from our school days that pi d square by 4 means pi by 4, 3.5 whole square. That means 3.5 is the diameter of the vena contracta. Similarly, diameter of the orifice is given as how much? 4 centimeter. So pi d square that is pi 4 square by 4 will give us the value of the area of orifice. So similarly, if we simply solve this thing, how much we will get? We will get the value of CC, you have to calculate on your own also and see 0 0.765. So this is the value of CC that is coefficient of contraction and what we will do? We will simply put the value of 0 0.765 that is CC in this place and we know CV is 0 0.98 and simply 0 0.98 multiplied by 0 0.765 will give the value as CD which will be nothing but 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 is the answer and rounded off to two decimal places. So it is already 0 0.75 will be the answer rounded off to two decimal places. So two things you have to remember CV multiplied by CC is equal to CD where CV is what? It is the coefficient of velocity and here coefficient of velocity is given as 0 0.98 and cc is what it is coefficient of contraction cd is the coefficient of discharge and cc coefficient of contraction how to find out area at vena contracta divided by area of orifice which are circular in nature 
water jet from the pipe so here area we have to just divide and then we will get the value of cc so these two things if you know you will get the full marks within one or two minutes only so let's move on to the next question so this question again on your screen the question is in a field test of geological formation of a permeable soil so the soil is permeable soil where we are conducting a field test porosity is given as 20 percent the hydraulic gradient was found to be two percent and the actual seepage velocity of the flow was found to be 0 0.0025 meter per second and it is telling that assume that the flow is in the laminar regime so if the flow is in the laminar regime all the dashes formula and all will be fitting into the formula and will get the answer so it should be falling into the laminar regime the permeability k of the aquifer is how much this question coming from the aquifer and what we will do very very easy we have to know the brahmastra chocolate formula n is equal to 20 percent that is the porosity given porosity we we'll write it as n which is 20 percent given in the question i is equal to 2 percent i means what hydraulic gradient you can take h or anything you want i have taken i i is equal to 2 percent which is hydraulic gradient next vs is given vs means what vs is seepage velocity it is given as 0 0.0025 meter per second now we should know that vs that is the seepage velocity is also having one more formula that is discharge velocity divided by porosity it is also having one more formula ki by n n means porosity so just discharge velocity is also equal to permeability into hydraulic gradient this is the concept so discharge velocity is equal to you can write v is equal to ki where k is the permeability i is the what i is the hydraulic gradient and k we have to find it out just put the value and we will get the answer so here seepage velocity is 0 0.0025 just we have to write in the left hand side k is the thing which we need to find out the permeability multiplied by 0 0.02 which is what it is the i that is 2 percent 2 percent if you are writing 2 by 100 that means 0 0.002 so it is here divided by the porosity porosity is given as 20 percent so 20 percent means 20 by 100 so this this cancel 2 by 10 is equal to 0 0.2 so in this way if you solve this thing we will get the value of k that means the permeability and what will be the value the value will be 0 0.025 you have to calculate and recheck whether i am correct or wrong so k will be 0 0.025 rounded off to three decimal places yes one two three three decimal places correct answer will be 0 0.025 you will get the full mark and you will be happy so these things also as i repeatedly said you have to note down the formula chocolate numericals let's move on to the next question so guys here comes our next question no need to worry by looking into this much lengthy question question is lengthy answer will be simple you will get the full marks so the question is in open channel flow the specific energy is the total energy per unit of a liquid where the component potential energy is measured from the bed of the channel as the datum so we are measuring from the bed of the channel and here there is the given the information information is a rectangular channel of 10 meter width carries 20 meter cube per second of water and the depth of flowing water is 1 meter so these three things are the given things we have already got all these things so no need to worry the specific energy for this flow condition is how much so this is asking the specific energy of this flow condition and here it is also given consider acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 10 meter per second square to make our calculation easy no need to take 9.8 they have already said you can take 10 now comes the brahmastra formula specific energy is equal to depth that is why we have taken here plus velocity square by 2g that is g is equal to acceleration due to gravity this is the formula just remember the formula stick in your sticky notes or in your notes and revise them before the examination it will be very very helpful so width is given as 10 meter rectangular channel of 10 meter width discharge is given as 20 meter cube per second width carries 20 meter cube per second that means you should know that is telling about the discharge of that channel next is v v is equal to what velocity velocity is equal to discharge by area this is the concept thing velocity is equal to discharge by area here discharge is given as 20 we will put as 20 area is equal to 10 into 1 10 is equal to 10 meter is equal to width multiplied by depth is equal to 1 meter 
so by solving that we will get 2 meter per second is the velocity now what we will do simply put the value of v in this formula specific energy is equal to y depth is equal to how much 1 plus that is v square you can see v square velocity square velocity we have found 2 2 square divided by 2 into g that is 10 so here 1 plus 4 by 20 1 plus 4 by 20 means 1.2 unit you should remember it is in meter so 1.2 meter is the this thing which is asked that is specific energy in the question we will get by knowing the depth velocity and acceleration due to gravity we all know so 1.2 meter will be the solution for this question you will get the full marks by attending in this way so these were the three chocolate numericals with important formula formula are very short you should note down and practice all these things regularly so we will be going on continuing this series i hope your preparations are going well all the very best for the examination you can join our telegram page for the regular quizzes for the environmental science entrances and also our insta page for the regular updates current affairs related to environment don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all further updates see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself